Hey everybody, Angel Arts is here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Undertale. So let's keep following this path. Um. Oh. Oh. Seven. Seven human souls. King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Really? You've So you've killed six people? Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. I've kind of been reading it this entire time, ma'am. It all started long ago. I've, I already heard this. Can I just keep moving? No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell that story when you're about to die? Yeah. Well, the joke's on you, Undyne. I already know the story. Joke's on you. You. You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Well, you should have thought about that the last five times you had the chance to kill me, and you didn't. Alf Alfie's history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swords, woman. But you... You're just a coward. I'm the coward? I'm not the one who's been chickening out these last few times. You couldn't strike down... Oh, you know what? Forget it. Calling me a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy goody two shoe shtick. Wimpy goody two shoe shtick. I've been consistent. What do you mean by a shtick? That's... I've been consistent this whole time. Ooh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Then why are you just standing there talking to me instead of actually doing something about it? Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting for their whole lives for this moment. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. Actions speak louder than words, ma'am. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. You know what? I mean to think the reason why you're talking so much is because you're scared and you're stalling. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. Really, you're not going to say, like, several more paragraphs after this? I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. Foo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, after they save. <laughs> the wind is howling. I'm not that ready. You're filled with determination. All right. That's it, then. No more running away. Here I come. On guard. There's no, there's no music. Oh, okay, there's the music. Undyne attacks. Check. Undyne, seven attack, zero defense. The heroine that never gives up. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Undyne holds her fist in the front of her and shakes her head. Challenge? You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy, the bullets get faster. Not bad, then how about this? Undyne suplexes a huge boulder just because she can. Um, you tell Undyne her attacks are too easy, the bullets get faster. For years we've dreamed of a happy ending. Oh! Oh, I see. I get it. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy, the bullets get faster, and now the sunlight is just within our reach. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy, the bullets get faster. I won't let that she snatch it away from us. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get unfair. Yeah, enough warming up. Oh, now I'm red. Got it. Alright, now I got it. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Our face rests upon you, Angelus. Stay determined. Alright. <gasps> they took out the save! That's it then, no more running away, here I come. They took out the save point. And guard, and I attacks. No, I don't wanna 
attack. I want to challenge. Her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. As long as you're green, you can't inflate by this left for a safe danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Tower is threateningly. Challenge. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. How about this? Undyne suplex is a huge boulder. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. For years we've dreamed of happy. So basically when it turns red, like move it towards that direction. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get unfair. Up, down. Nice. Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes. The Undyne, her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. You won't. I won't let you snatch it away from us. It smells like sushi. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get unfair. Enough warming up. Oh! Undyne towers threateningly. Mercy, ha ha. I still can't believe you want to spare me. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground. I'm gonna... just because... Can I... can I get... another item? Ball shoes, snow piece, bandage, butts pie? How do I turn the page? I thought I had another... Here. Reapply the bandage. You still kind... Still kind of gooey. You cover 10 hit points. But even if I spared you... Undyne bounces impatiently. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get unfair. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Undyne towers threateningly. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get unfair. Oh, now that's unfair! Undyne suplexes a huge boulder. Tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. I'm probably gonna die, but I just need to experiment. This is more of an experiment. Undyne bounces impatiently. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get unfair. Stop being so resilient! Ah! Alphys told me humans were determined. Oh, that's pretty cool. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. That's pretty cool. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. I see now that she meant by that. Okay. Undyne bounces impatiently. I'm gonna use my bandage now. You already applied the bandage. Still kind of gooey. You recover 10 HP. I'm determined too. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. This is a really interesting fight. But nothing happened. Determined to end this right now. Undyne towers threateningly. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. Right now. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy, but the bullets get faster. Oops, right now.
I will take number take mercy from the likes of you. I'm this eyes twitching voluntarily. You will never spare me. Dear Maker, how long is this fight supposed to be? It smells like angry fish. Oh, for goodness sake. Escaped. Stop running away. Undyne attacks. Welcome to... Come back here, you little punk. I have two hit points left. Ring. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking. You, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Click. Oh, sure. 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 Persistent. Come back here, you little punk. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 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 tired of you. Come back here, you little punk. Nope. Ugh. Come back here, you little punk. Okay. I I ate my butterscotch pie for this. Ooh, water cooler. Armor. So hot. But I can't give up. Do you want to get some water? <laughs> it's a water cooler. Take a cup of water? Sure. You take a cup of water. Get rid of the water? No. <laughs> give Undyne the water? Yes. Do you need more water? Ma'am. Ma'am. Okay. And she leaves. I figured. It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water? Yes. You take a cup of water. Can I drink the water? No, I can't drink the water. Alright. Fine. The water evaporated from the heat. The cup evaporated too. <laughs> <laughs> the cup evaporated too. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Sure, why not? I used up all my all my items though. Blah. Lab. Okay. Sorry, Undyne. Like, told us there was totally hu a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best. Miss Undyne, I'm sure you will. What is this? Death? Tra-la-la, I am the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? Sure. Where will we go today? Snowden, Waterfall... Meh, we, I don't want to go to either of those. I don't want to go to either of those. I don't want to go to either of those. Then we're off. Oh, I couldn't say no. Alright, fine. Will you take me back? Ah. Oh, this is where we end up. Okay. Come again sometime. Tra-la-la. Tra-la-la. -la. Care for a ride? Ride in the boat. Yes. Where will we go today? Hotland. Then we're off. Hotland. We're going the wrong way. <laughs> we're going... Okay. Is this a... Oh, unless we're... Unless I've been going all around in a big giant circle. Tra-la-la. Temi Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. Oh, the room before the... Oh, there's some... There's a secret there. Tremi... Yeah. Okay. Whatever. 
Come again sometime, tra la la. Into the lab. Okay. There's a camera on me. It's you. It's too dark to see near the walls. It's too dark to see near the walls. It's t okay. Whatever. I can see that there's. <sighs> Where's the light switch? It's the institute. What? It is the institute. It's Lisa Simpson crossed with a cobalt. It's cobalt Simps. Lisa cobalt Simpson. Oh my god, I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy and... Who are you? Um, hiya, I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royalist scientist. But, 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 uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on the screen really makes you root for them. It's... Your, have you been watching my YouTube channel? So, so, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle. No problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments, like, um, anti- anti-human combat features? Look like all, this, all the perspiration. Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so, and, um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. Hehehehe. <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Uh-huh. Oh. Right. Did you hear something? Mm-hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yes. Wait, is is this robot the Kool-Aid man? Is it a Kool-Aid man robot? Oh yeah. Welcome beauties. Did he crash through the wall? He did crash through the wall! Oh my gosh! Kool-Aid Man Robot crash through the wall to today's quiz show! Oh yeah! Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Eh? Never played before. Gorgeous. Are you hitting on me, Mr. Robot Man? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Right. Or you die. Oh boy. Metaton attacks. Metaton. 10 attack. 999 defense. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Uh... Money? Mercy? More questions? Haha, ha, you wish. Wrong. The quiz show continues. Cry. Screaming is against the rules. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Asgore Dreamer. Correct. What a terrific answer. The quiz show continues. Metaton. His metal body renders him the Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Hopes and dreams. Metal and magic. Too easy for you, huh? Screaming is against the rules. Here's another one for you. Two trains, train A. How much long? How much will longer will? Oh God. Whatever. A. I should have answered C. It should always be C, boys and girls. The quiz continues. When in doubt, I should have said C. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? C. Answer C. Completely, utterly wrong. This is so unfair, the quiz continues. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? 
Whimson? Boy, that's embarrassing, huh? The quiz show continues. Time to break out the big guns. Is the dating simulation video game new Missy Cutie? What's the new Mew's favorite food? Oh, I know this one. In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all of her friends. But it's snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship. And... <laughs> Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Undyne. Asgore, the human, don't know. Uh... Asgore? Why would someone outfit an amusement robot? With brutal combat abilities? Simple. To impress Mr. Asgore, Dreamer, of course. Or as Alphys calls him, Mr. Dreamy. <laughs> those strong arms. That lustrous beard. Like all those who create weapons. She craves the tender embrace of a burly man. Can she truly be blamed? Well, well, well. With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But... But, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Oh my gosh, I had one hit point left. You... Oh my gosh. Well, that was certainly something. It was something. Can I save first? It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Wait, wait. I need to save. My hit... I have one hit points left, Lisa... Lisa Cobalt Simpson. Let me give you my f f phone number. Th th then maybe if you need help, I could. Oh, well, where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. Are you giving me a new phone? An upgrade? Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. Hee hee. Heh heh heh. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. I'm gonna check this place and my phone out in the next video, I think. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles? Sure. Because I need more food. The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Oh, but I can't take any more. It's a beat up figurine of a female human with cat ears. It's a teacup shaped like a yellow lizard. It's full of soda. It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Seems like the notes to something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game, or... A garbage can, but it's pretty cute. It's a video feed of your location. Oh boy. I'm just gonna save right here. <laughs> Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Alright, I think I'm good for right now, guys. Thank you for watching, and until next time, love yourselves and love each other.